Okay. Hello, YouTube. If you're watching this as a recording, uh, you might want to skip ahead a couple minutes until my chatters get in line in the uh, live chat here. And we get our hellos out of the way. And um, I've got a couple things to show you. Then we're going to play with something. Something. I don't know what. It'll probably involve foil and collaging. We'll see where we go. Hey, Denise. How are you? Hey, Joan. So I wanted to show everybody something. I'll probably end up having to show it twice because I don't want anybody to, to miss out on this. Um, hey, Candy. So I was, I was gifted these prints and they are gorgeous in person. I'm going to take it out of the plastic so you can get the, the true uh, feeling of these. Hey, Dot. Robin. Um, a customer that has bought my stencils and stamps for a good while and watched me on YouTube for a long time, but I, I didn't know it. I, I guess he usually lurks or has a name I don't recognize on his um, for his, uh, you know, his chat username. But anyway, he contacted me and he said, I've been using your stamps and stencil designs and some of my art. He said he does digital collage and um, uh, various other stuff with watercolors and pastels. And, and um, he was showing at a gallery, which closed down because of the virus in Georgia. He's in Savannah. And um, he did have a website, but he doesn't anymore. But if anybody's interested, I can give you his email address if you want to contact him. But this is what he sent me. Let me take these out of here. His name is John Molino, M-O-L-I-N-O. -O. Take this out of his bag because it's really glary. He said he wanted to send me some actual prints because a picture you know, sending it over the web just doesn't do it any justice. And he was right. These are so pretty. They're matted. See my pictographs in the background? How cool is that? That's the round set of pictographs. I like that text in the background. It's very ethereal, airy kind of looking. Isn't that cool? And he sent me three of them, not just one. Hey, Jim. I love to see my stamps and stencils when somebody else uses them and see what they come up with. Cece was one I always loved to see her work because she would use them in a way that I would have never thought of. Here's the second one. This one's a beautiful red and gold kind of a theme. Whoops, upside down. It's very oriental. There's his signature again. It's John Molino, M-O-L-I-N-O. But look at the, the colors in the trees. And this is my Greek key design, Democide. Isn't that cool? Hey, Jim. CB's here. Come on, work with me. There we go. Let's 
Hey, there's John Molino in chat. I was just showing your um, your pieces, John. These are absolutely beautiful. Whoop, upside down. So this one in the background, you can see my geometric mask. See the circles and dots and intersections all through the whole the whole thing. That's just beautiful. Are they cool? I need a, a bigger house with more wall space. <laughs> um, Jim, it's John Molino. He's just above your name in chat. So if anybody has any questions, you can ask John directly. John, I was telling them, them before you got on that you were based in Savannah, Georgia, and used to um, show at galleries, um, but with the virus, they closed down, and you don't currently have a website um, that you're selling on. But um, if is there an email address that you'd want to share with anybody or a way to get in touch with you if anybody's interested in, in looking at, at what you have? Edna McGuire, that's a new name. Welcome. I think it's a new name. Yeah, they're really, really cool in person. I, I love seeing my designs used like that. So I see a, tr a couple more people trickling in. John Molino, who's in chat as the artist that sent me these prints, where he's used some of my collage and stencil idea uh, designs in his... Um, digital collages and here you can see my the geomet geometry mask in the background of this one I put them back in their sleeves because I didn't it's a dangerous place down here and then this one and you know we all love this script for the red lovers out there this one's really popping and this is my Greek key stencil two different uh, sizes of the, of the Greek key design down the side so John is saying that he has a gallery on Flickr and just go to Flickr.com and look for John G like George Molino M-O-L-I-N-O -O. and your his email he's listed here in chat J-G-M live at gmail.com I know Joan it's really you know, it's so soft, like the pictographs, you know, they're a hard graphic design, but it's kind of mellowed out and just kind of wispy in with the rest of that kind of ethereal background and just in shadow in there. It's so cool. But I just love those. Thank you so much, John, for sending those. Hey, Vicki. So anyway, I'm tapping because I'm I'm stalling. <laughs> I don't really know what we're going to do, but I just needed a mental break. I'm glad you did too, John. Um, so this is the last collage that I did, and I wanted to tell you guys what I discovered. Let me put the fan on. It's never usually warm down the basement, but it is right now. Um, so this is a collage I did the other day. I didn't do this one long. I just had a few minutes and came down and was playing. So it's a jelly print in the background that I foiled. You guys might remember that piece. This is a fabric that I jelly printed on, this half circle. Um, and this was that weathered copper foil, right? The punch, the hole punch that I did. Now see how it's kind of chipped off of there? Well, when I talked to Jennifer, the owner of, um, of artistic... Make sure I get the name right. Painting studio. She said that she doesn't think that that's going to stay stuck to that black paper the way that I did it with just putting the paper through. And she was right. You can even see the surfboards are underneath there. 
and in between the surfboards, see where it's starting to crack up there. She said it, maybe it was just the heat at first that was holding it there. Um, so we'll have to go back at some point and experiment more. I have another order on the way. These foils, uh, and this one here, the champagne gold, I forget what it was called, dotted champagne, I think it's called, and this is weathered copper. They look completely different. I tried to sort these out in some kind of a way here. Now I'm going to have a disaster with the fan on. Hang on, turn the fan off. We got one foil on the desk with the fan on. Hey, Eileen. So here's some of the prints that we did where this stuck to the, the paint, right? This seems to be working fine. And here's a piece that stuck too good. But I wonder, remember these had the, and you can't even see it. It's that badass stencil that has those two long designs on it underneath here. Oh, no, it's not. This is the one with Jackie's. I can see it in here, the little peak of black. That's that um, stencil of Jackie's. And these look like they stuck to the whole jelly print. But there's paint under there, and that is sticking. Here's this one I did with all the different samples of different kinds of foils through my stencil. This is the one I thought it was, but it's not. So you can see where there's paint there, but these are, they're sticking and they're staying. And this nickel, I love this color. It's not silver. It's not black. It's not green. Um, it's the oddest uncolor. <laughs> but I, I ordered this in a roll because it was just so cool looking. I love the color of it. Um, all right, let me move these out of the way and see if my, these are the scraps. This, that's the sample set that I ordered. These are the samples that Jennifer sent me. These are the designs that I ordered. These are the solid sheets. What am I looking for? Oh, I know. So here they are. They're around, the, I, I rolled them the opposite direction because they were so um, curly. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. <laughs> she ships them uh, wrapped around a, um, a um, core. I don't know what you call it. You know, like a cardboard roll in there and ships them like that wrapped. But these rascals were so curly. I had, I tried to wrap them the opposite way, but this may be a good way to show you what I'm trying to, what I'm talking about. These are called V-mask. Now, I don't know what that really means. However, these are on a colored background. You know where the other foils, they're on a clear carrier sheet, right? You can see through them. They look shiny when you look at them because there's, the light passes through the clear carrier sheet. These carrier sheets have a coloring on the backside and it looks kind of flat until you until it's printed or, you know, used and pulled off of there. Um, then you see the beauty of the shiny foil. Oh, this is not still not going to work for me. Anyway, I'm not going to take those off and wrestle with them. But each one of the V-mask ones has that, um, the weathered copper is one. It has a dark brown background to it. So they're the ones that are... Um, called the V-mask and they, they look muted when you look at them. But um, let's see if I can show you one in here. When they get pulled off the foil and I showed you guys that last week when I did the, um, is it in here? Where the hell is it? Hmm. Oh, here you can see this. So this is the piece. There, you can see that brown. That's what the background looks like of this weathered foil. And see what it looks like when you look at it here. And when you look at it here and it's pulled off that background. It is shiny foil, but when you look at the pictures on the website, it doesn't look shiny like this. It looks like this. But I like that pattern so much, I thought I'm going to order one of those just for the heck of it. And I'm glad I did because I would have never known that. So anyway... I just wanted to let you know that that is not sticking to just the black paper. Um, as previous thought, previously thought. 
Okay. These are tricky to figure out how the heck to store and pack those things. They're so flighty. <laughs> All right, let me move. Actually, I might use some of this today. We shall see. So I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Is that a shock to anyone? V-mask cannot be used on fabric. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what the difference is. Patty, that is a large... Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Eileen, when, when we couldn't buy it, you had to go big whenever you could get it. Oh, good, Edna. I'm glad you're here live. This is an unusual time for me to get on, but I, I just needed some time to just create and do something. My mom had a mini stroke, I don't know, a week and a half ago now, about 10 days ago. And other than a wedding that we had last evening that we went to, I've not been out of the house. I've been here with her. And she's much better. She's fine now. She's back to herself. But I just need to do something different for a break. Something creative and loosey-goosey and wild. But I like how this one came out. But I was thinking, what if I did something in all neutrals? Oh, this is the picture I took of that one and tweaked the color. So that came out a little bit different. Put that up here in the play with pile. Um, and then I was thinking to myself, Mike Benedetto. Hey, Mike. Is that a new name? Seems like I know that name. I see I missed some of this chat. Anyway, if anybody's got a question now. Hey, Kathy, I'm trying to pay more attention to the stream now instead of face down looking and wrestling with slippery curly foils. I got some cool ones coming in, I think, when the next order gets here. And she also sent me a couple uh, samples of her rollers to show you guys. And I think some of you have ordered those rollers from her, actually. Hey, Colleen. Devin, you snuck in here on me. Glenda, welcome. So, um... Yeah, what are we going to do? So I had, you know how I put my black and white little stripes in like everything? Pretty much. I mean, if we leaf through here, you'd probably be hard pressed to find one that didn't have that in here. There's some. There's some. And there. And there. And again. And there. <laughs> and there. I think oh, that's just a blob. There. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I love this page. That's one of my favorites. Oh, you did. Did you get any of the rollers yet, Jim? That's another blob from a jelly print. Oh, there's no black and white stripes in there. Maybe that's why I'm not that wild about that page. These aren't my stripes, but it's Robin's printables that had the black and white scripting in it. These are just the background sheets I threw in there. But I still haven't done anything with. And then comes the samples of the rice paper that I tested that day. And there are st stripes and dots. And stripes. And stripes. <laughs> Do you see a theme? <gasps> I love that. You should be selling those. What should I be selling? Are you talking about like prints of these pages? Vicki, on um, the site where I bought this recent foil, Artistic Painting Studio. Ooh, that's really fine print. ArtisticPaintingStudio.com. She has rollers. They look to be maybe eight inches wide. I'm not really sure how big they are. Um, texture rollers which the scream jelly plate to me although that's not how she uses them she does a lot of uh, finishing furniture with her foils and foiling furniture 
Patty, do you wear a lot of black and white stripes? I don't. I wear like solid black pants because, you know, black makes things look smaller. You know what I mean? But um, no, I have a couple things maybe that are black and white. I have a black top that's got little white polka dots on it, but not as much as you'd think. Yeah, when I was in jail, but now, you know, now they've gone to the orange jumpsuits and I've been trying to stay out of the, the big house because I don't look good in orange unless I have a tan. Oh, thanks, Mike. There might be something to think about doing at some point. Nash, that's a new name. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Flo. Hello. <laughs> oh, Eileen. What am I going to do with you? So anyway, back to the black and white stripes. Um, I always add those in, but I thought, what if I start out with a whole background of black and white stripes and then cover up bits of it with collage? So I made some and I printed them out. So I think that's what I'll do. So let me get my little ruler. And my glue sticks are here. This thing almost makes me dizzy. Is it making you guys dizzy? Remember that time I did those circles? <laughs> um, see, Vicki? Thanks for dropping in. Um, you know what? I'm just going to tear this. And see how, I wonder if I can do it this way. I know I can't get that just that little edge off of there, but let's see if I can do this. Hey, that worked pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to start it a little bit. There we go. Oh, there I don't go. And why did the other one go so... I guess I don't have to tear the top and the oh, maybe I should just to make it look a little rough. Rough, rough. Jimmy Robinson, there's a new name. Hello. Welcome. Hey Josie. I'm just doing this to rough up the end so I don't have such a straight edge on it. And that roughed it up all right. All right, let me get rid of these little bits. I was trying to get this new pen work. I got one of these. Actually, I have another one. But this is a bamboo um, brush pen. And it's got a cartridge in it, so it's refillable. And um, I was trying to get it started earlier. I was just playing with it. But it's sometimes you got to... It like it is almost like dry. You gotta let it play with it and shake it up a little bit. I don't know if that ball that's in there, hear that? Gets in the way. Hey Riri. But then when it writes, yeah, see there now it's writing, it's writing, it's writing good. I was just scribbling on there. But it's pretty. <laughs> All right, let's get this bad boy down. Is that enough? Just enough. Okay. So I'm going to do this kind of in reverse. <laughs> Let's see what happens with that. Patty, do you print on a laser printer? This one I just printed and it's not on laser printer. This one is not. This is on my inkjet but I'm going to have to use this file and print it on my um, laser printer. I just did this one. Like, what am I going to do when the, when it starts, when I start streaming? I thought, I know I'll print more of these and do a reverse, a little reverse collage. These are those new gelato, uh, giotto 
uh, glue sticks that came in from the UK that Robin was talking about. And I had my, my shopping enabler in the UK hooked me up with a link. When I ordered it, they got here in like two or three days. Like I couldn't believe it. They're very sticky. All right, get the edges. And that's what they are. They also have a collage stick that's a liquid glue that has a dauber top to it, which I really like. Okay, John, thanks for popping in. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Straight. Straight enough. All right. So now what are we going to break that up with? <laughs> Let's not think too far ahead. Well, I'm going to break it up with something shiny. I can, can bet on that. You can just bet on it. Here's that piece that came out like all silver. Actually, that might not look bad. Some of that maybe. I don't know. This is my little foil. Oh, you know what? Maybe a hunk of this somehow. I don't want it to cover up too much of the stripes. I don't know. Maybe we'll go turquoise and my old faithful. Maybe those colors to bust up the black and white. That's maybe what I'll do. That's just a piece of this under paper that I foiled when I had extra ink on my stamps. Oh, that's got some of the right color in it. I'll just throw that over there. Hey, Jackie. All right. I don't know, maybe a little bit of that. Is this on a carrier sheet? Or did I just, I think I have that design on a carrier. Yeah, here we go. I don't know what I'm going to use, but I'm going to pull some of that stuff out of here. So it's at my fingertips. Maybe a little stripe of that somewhere. I think I'll put these back in for another day. And then I need to look through my little bag of tricks. I can, I can overlook the black and white bits. So I'm going to look like purpley, tealy, see what we can find. That's always good. Maybe a little scripting. Maybe a little hunk of that. Oh, there's a little piece of that in purple. I don't know. Let's see. Let's throw it all out there and see what we can do with it. Oh, Lord, remember this? <laughs> oh. Oh, that was one day it went horribly wrong. Hey, Katrina. Welcome. What are all these uh, black and white stripes? I don't need that over my black and white stripes I already got. So maybe some solid black circles for something. You never know. 
That could come in handy. Maybe, could I finally get a piece of this stuff in there? <laughs> I tried to use it the other night. Ah, still couldn't work it in, starting with this even. Let's throw it out there. What the hell? Let's see what happens. I'd like to get some couple ideas percolating. Oh, here's smaller pieces. That's probably what I should have out of this. Oh, and maybe some of that. All right, that should be enough, wouldn't you think? Good night. Do you remember when I just got this box a couple weeks ago? <laughs> it's already full. Hey, there's a nice little strip of that. Okay. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, let's see what we can do with this mishmash of stuff. Oops. There's something in here. Oop. Oh, maybe a couple of these cut up. Hey, Z. Hey, Z, you guys, I'm going to show you again before I get started and get all gluey-fied and all that. Um, John Molino was in chat earlier. Um, and I knew the name. I didn't know him, honestly. I knew the name because he's bought stample, stamples and pencils. <laughs> stencils and stamps from me for a number of years and um he placed an order recently with some of my digital papers that he's using now too in his own artwork and he asked me if he could send me some prints because the papers or pictures just don't do um don't do them justice and he was right look at this i'm not going to take these out of the packets again you guys can go to the front of the video when you if you really want to see these without the plastic on it, but see the pictographs in the background, he does digital collage and sometimes mixed with real collage elements. But that's one that he sent me. His name is John Molino. And he has a, a Flickr site where you can see his work and contact him if you wanna buy anything. He was showing in a gallery um, in Savannah and then with the virus that shut down. Yeah, he was on for just a little bit right after I started um, Z. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Rachel. Look, Rachel, you'll love this one. Look at that. Look at the font down the bottom and the colors. And then there's my Greek key stencils going down the side. But you can find him on Flickr. It's John G, like George, Molino, M-O-L-I-N-O. -O. And you can contact him through there if you see anything. Um, hey, Mary Ellen. And here you can see my geometry mask in the background of the whole thing. Down at the bottom, you can see it. But they are just spectacular in person. And it's so cool seeing my designs in there. So um, apparently, Xander, he watches you too. And um, asked for your address to send you something with an ocean mermaid theme on it. And he has some of Joan's stencils that he uses. He's going to send Joan something too. So I thought that was really nice of him to do that. It's really pretty. So, okay, let's see what we got here. Look at all this stuff. Sweet Moses. This I can already put aside. I'm not going to use that. I got too much other good stuff. This I'll probably use one of these or two somewhere. Might use that. A little strip of that wouldn't kill me. Might use some of that. Eh, that kind of, that's not wowing me. 
that's kind of off the theme of the, the color thing I wanted to do. Maybe that circle. Maybe a little strip of that. Good Lord. I better put a piece of this down first to start. <laughs> put those up there. Here's another one with a lot of copper in it. I love this paper. And here's some of the corrugate. Remember I was printing these out and the printer was running out of ink and this was coming out like this instead. Love it. Those. And here's all my foil bits. So, okay. And here's this. All right, I'll definitely be putting something shiny in there because God forbid I don't. That just wouldn't seem like me, would it? All right, let's... I'm going to kind of have these in piles of what I'm going to use. Um, let me tear a couple of these out of here. Sorry, right now I'm not looking at chat. If somebody's trying to say something to me when you can, you can usually, I think, tell when I'm not looking at chat because when I'm doing something kind of intricate, I got to pay attention. Lord knows I do. Um, Just put it in all caps or let one of the mods know if I missed it and I'll try to get back to you. Really, I will. Um, can I do this one like I did the others? Am I that lucky that I could do that? Probably not. But that's okay. These are so hard to tear like that. If you watch Robin, she gets in there and she just tears this little strip right off. Apparently, there is a technique <laughs> that is elusive to me. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. You know what? We're going to do it the old fashioned way. Patty, Ranger has a rose gold embossing powder. I think I have it, Margaret. Oh, shocker. I do think I have it. Now, let's see. Let's get a couple little bits going here and see what we can come up with. <clears throat> so... This is the jelly print I th put through. Remember the one I put through with that piece of um, uh, Punchinella that had that swirl design in it and it made the imprint in there and then stuck to the next one I did it with and ruined it. <laughs> I believe so. I believe it's in there. All right. So I want to get a couple of these with kind of a mixture of the colors. This one I did run through the foil with that had a sheet that had been used and used and used and used. You can see just a little, a little peppering of the foil across there. Just a little teeny tiny bit. I think I'm going to go in the middle and take a couple of these. And I want to leave a little black edge on there. Frame them a little bit. Put 
that up there. Tear off that and this little bits. That's kind of crooked. Imagine that. I, I really like how it came out with just that little bit of foil in there. Just a little sparkle. All right. Okay, now what do I want to do? Do I want to work some of this in there? That kind of goes with that. You know what? This isn't going to work again. It's the wrong blue. You poor little things. One day. One day. I might just print a whole thing of those out and start with a page of all that. Cover it up little by little. Uh -huh. See, this has that whole big Florida Lee thing in there, or whatever you call that curly cue. You are being restricted to no black and white bits. I got one big one. Um, maybe I'll just take a piece of this. And kind of maybe I'll do something like coming down the edges. I'll think on that one. Or do I want to do that with a piece of this? I don't know if I like this on there. This is more like same, same. I like that. This is too blue instead of greeny teal. I could get a hunk of that in there maybe. And this for sure. This was on a piece of my newsprint under paper stuff that I work on. And these, I think these were the, um, the Luminaire paints that I wiped off on this background. Does anybody remember that? They're very shiny. I mean, the paints are. I'm trying to show you the paint. All right, put that over there, and these over here. I have a stripe of that, but I don't want just all stripes of paper. I want some raggedy stuff. So maybe we just take a big old raggedy piece of this down the middle. Is that what we're going to do? Maybe, like I'm thinking down here, so we get a lot of this shiny stuff on it. Let's just do it. It's just a jelly print. It's not going to be the end of the world. That tore up nice and crooked like I wanted it. Imagine that. Kind of a big bit of that on there. What if we go right down the middle with that? Then what? Then what indeed? I'm just playing. 
Nothing permanent yet. Or do I want to break that up? Or do I want that off to the side instead of in the middle? My fingers aren't working. If we do something like that, and then I mentioned earlier we were at a wedding last night, um, and it was over on the water on the bay, and a thunderstorm was coming across the water. I don't know if you guys saw my pictures I posted on social media or not. I love to watch a storm come across the water. I really do. And it was really coming across there. And when it landed, boy, whew, it was blasting water up on the big, the back of the venue where we were was like all glass on the water side. And um, it was howling. Howling, howling, howling. But really, really cool. That was one of my favorite things when we'd be offshore years ago. We used to run offshore and scuba dive or fish the Gulf Stream every weekend when we'd have run through a, a big squall. Lightning hitting the water around us. The water and the sky both look black. Never known if you're going to make it back. That was half the fun. What if I did that? There. Maybe. So that looks like a whole lot of nothing on let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, Joan, they were really cool. Um We grew up on the water, too. I used to sit when I was a little kid in the back room watching storms come across the, the water. All right, might use that somewhere. Do I want a little strip of this in there somewhere? This one didn't come out that great. There, you can see the pictographs in there, but they're not, not my greatest. Let's see what we got. That can go in the garbage. I like the color of that. Maybe we'll do a little intersection down, have it kind of go. Uh, uh, uh. Huh. Those stripes above look like a blue match from here. The stripes above. Looks like a blue match from here. Um, I don't really know what you're what you mean there. There's kind of weird right now. Oops, something fell off. Oh no, it was this. Oh, and maybe remember I have these solid black circles under here. Maybe see this is the wrong color now.
No. No, 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 no. Hey, Judy. Ha, ha, ha. Now, do I want to... Oh, I don't have any other foil in there. Remember, I was going to do the uh, something with this shiny stuff, although there's a couple shinies already in there. Um, do I need to drop a piece of this in somewhere? Er Maybe that to the edge and this overlapping it a little bit. Have that come off the edge up here. Oops, get off of there. No, don't move. Don't anybody move. And this coming down here maybe. Do I want to slide something crazy like a big black circle underneath of there? That's not needed there. That doesn't do much there. It doesn't do much for me. Oh, a day off, and you're here, Judy. Bless your heart. Um, I kind of like this little bit somehow coming. I don't know. This is on a carrier sheet. Actually, I better take a picture of this before something happens. What the hell? Oh. Okay. Let me take a little help my memory. <laughs> I forget what this. Oh, this is the um, indigo blue paper that's on here. And Jack, you remember uh, when I tried that the first time? I must have had too much glue on there and it tore. This one, hopefully I don't jinx myself, seems to be, Ooh. see what I just say, coming off okay. There, I just want to go to get these little bits in there. Ooh. And will that allow me to tear that? Nope, lost my first little dot on it. Okay. Let's This is probably the most unorthodox way to do this, but, you know, that doesn't bother me. <laughs> now, where can I put you, little one? See, the stripes will show through this. I think this is a little too big, though. I'm going to tear it and lose this one little row of dots here. All right, then I got a little string of dots to use somewhere in the future. Okay. 
hmm, do I want you at all? I wonder what it would look like under this, with just a little bit of that sticking out like that, maybe. I don't know. So if I put that there, would that show through? Not much. It's really going to dull it down if I do that. Maybe I do it this way. Just come off the bottom. Let that cover up a little bit. Ah, what the hell. Let's just start gluing. All right. Let me put this and this up here in case I need you later. And let's do that and that. And I'll put this piece down first. Okay, here we go. It's almost dry from that previous gluing job, but this is kind of delicate. So I don't think I want to use that Giotto glue stick, but I think I am going to try the Giotto glue collage stick, which I do really like. Well, it's going to be just very difficult, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Which way do I want up? this way up. Okay. I might have to get it down and then kind of stick glue under it with my little glitter glue dispenser with the needle nose on it because this is going to be very tricky. So here's the glue collage stick. Giotto collage. And it has a dauber top to it and comes out really nice. A little squeeze and oh this is tricky actually I think I'm just going to go down the middle and whatever I can get of the edges and go back because I fear I may lose this little beauty it's very don't lay this down Ask me why. Oh my goodness. This is that in indigo blue rice paper. It is fragile, fragile, fragile. So I can get that off the edge down the bottom. Right. And I'm just going to let this go where she wants to go. Oh, and this edge, I need to curl that one down. Get rid of that. All right, now I'll come back with a little bit of this stuff, the art glitter glue. Hey, Eminem. What am I missing in chat? Oh, how clearly how wise Judy is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Hey, Laverne. Welcome. Oops, need a paper towel. This down here, I think I almost got, almost, not so much. Put a little time, that gets you like a thread-like strip of glue with this little needle nose. Let's 
And that didn't go as clear as I would have liked it to. I wonder if I come over that with some of that, um, the, the uh, starch glue. I wonder if that would, um, it's kind of foggy through the stripes. I was hoping it would go more transparent. See what I mean? And where it was wetter with glue is, you can see the black stripes more clearly under that. Um, but I wonder if I came over it, would that deaden the, um, the glow of the... This is how we find out. So let's just do it. See what happens. Let's just see. This is the Yamato starch glue for rice paper. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it over here because that black circle is going to go over this anyway. Let's see if it makes a difference. Well, I don't know. My guess is not much. It's my paint and my brush keeps peeling off. <laughs> How do you highlight a name in chat? How do you highlight it? You mean the ones that are blue? Gala, hello. I'm not sure what you mean, Rob. Does anybody know what Robin means that can help her highlighting a name in chat? The blue ones are my mods, if that's what you mean, that they're highlighted in blue. All right. So this is looking a little more transparent, but I want to see if the... Um, I don't want to lose the shimmer of the gold. That's why I put it there. I like a little shimmer. Hmm. I don't know. I might come back to that. I'm not going to mess with that right now. We'll put that in the possibly to do in the future pile. Okay. Now let's see where am I. So on the bottom of this heap was this piece, but where were you in heights about ish? Here, here, here. Something like so, right? Is that where I had it? Well, I can't pick up anything today. What's going on there? My manual dexterity has flown the coop. Do I want that in some of the gold under that? Is that how I had it? Let me look at my picture, my reference. It really is, isn't it, Jackie? When I push this up and look at the screen, I can really see it better. Um, but you know what? The paper, the striped paper under it is, feels like it's buckling underneath of there. I'm going to let that sit and see how it dries. Okay, so that was just about like that, actually. Okay, so let's move you three off of there. And... I'll put this little piece right there. Not with no, not without lead, I won't. How does this one work? Oh, yeah, there. There we go. Okay. Glue stick. I'm going to put the cap back on this little guy here. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
And you went right about there, I believe. And next, oops, where the heck? Yeah, then the then the big piece was somewhere in that vicinity, I believe. Like so. This glue is so sticky, it's really hard to glue over something that you just glued because it's still wet on there. Ask me how I know. Is that a stencil patty? Uh, this one, this paper here, is that what you're asking? Who said that, Margaret? Yeah, Margaret, are you asking if this is a stencil? This is not. This is, hey, Deb, this is um, a handmade paper from looseends.com. And it's got that gold foil all over the paper. It's beautiful. They have some gorgeous stuff there. And if you sign up for their emails, they quite often have sales. That would be a cool stencil, though, wouldn't it? Okay, I believe we were in this neighborhood. Well, that's where we are now. This is our neighborhood. <laughs> that's the neighborhood. All right. Now let's go with this one down this way. I had it over, so a little bit of this black and white stuck out there and there. Hey, Brock. Okay, how far did I come down with that? Almost to here. And that didn't go, okay. I'm actually talking myself through this one. <laughs> I'm going to put you right there. And this one, we crisscross the other way. See, this is so sticky. And if I turn it over, it's going to stick to my under paper. So I'm going to fold it and use parts of the back, which I used when I first started. That's pretty much dry now. That won't be too much of a disaster, hopefully. So this, I just want a little bit of this gold sticking out the bottom from that purple bit there. Like so. And this little rascal, I had, oh, you know what? This should have been moved over more to show more of that black and white underneath of there. That's going to have me right to the edge without that the showing underneath of it. Well, I don't like that. Too late now. Maybe if I pull it over a little bit like that. Or do I interrupt that like this and put that over? Would that hide it a little bit, maybe? Not make it look so cut off of there? I don't think that's given. Patty, have you used the Distress Oxides on your gel plate? 
I have not. I don't think I have, Deb. I don't think I've done that. I used them when I first got them. I used them on tags and different papers and stuff, just kind of blotting them and squirting them and layering them when they dry. Um, but I don't, I don't remember if I did. I don't think I did. I have seen people do that, though. I don't think this black is adding any value underneath there. But man, that ticks me off. That would have looked, this had to be all over a little bit. Why'd you guys let me do that? <laughs> One must blame it on someone. Let's just move that over and move along. Stop the belly aching. More gluing and less whining. Maybe no one will notice. That's my Outback stencil design in the rubber stamp format. Oh, I should have my stamp inventory re-upped in about a week. Hopefully the stamps will be in. Um, and I'm converting as I reorder to all cling. So if anybody wants any of the unmounted sheets that are in stock now, now would be the time to grab them. But cling seems the way that most people want to go. So I'm just going to bite the bullet and go cling all the way. Okay, so now I want this row of script. Oh, with a black circle. Let's see. That really would have looked nicer if it was. Well, let's just go. Let's carry on and see where we end up. I feel like this. And that whole corner will be blacked out. I'll trim that off. And then I had this off the top edge with some black and white showing through it. And then this little piece of patina paper kind of Drop down like, I better move that over. Like so, a little more staggered. Huh, huh, huh. I don't know, something about this. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm looking at this, one of these long, skinny, just little strips here and thinking about closing that off since I lost the intersection of that so it doesn't look so obvious. Maybe. I'll, look, I'll sit there and look at you for a while and decide. Um, something, I wonder if I ink the edges of this with black, if that would help with bothering my eye a little bit. Oh, you're the only one noticing. Probably so. Yeah, Eileen's here. Everybody better fly right. She takes no prisoners. She's a maniac. Maniac, maniac. I know, keep my day job. Of course, some of this is going to be laying over the black circle, but...
it just looks too much like a turquoise blob because it's not that oh you know what i wonder if i took some um like a um a wax and try to hit the high points they're not very high though that's the only thing that could be a disaster That could be a disaster. Because they're so... Yeah, no, I can't hardly even feel the difference of that stuff underneath there. Just a tiny bit. That helped a little bit. All right. So... All right, let's glue this bad boy down first. I just got a little edge there and a little edge there. I'm gonna cut off, let's see, can I see it to cut it off? I cannot, so we'll just glue the whole thing and we'll figure that out later when I trim it. Yep. Ooh, come on, work with me. Work with me, baby. That is some sticky business right there. I got that one little dot show in there. That's about where I had it. This has to go. I'm going through a lot of deli paper with this stuff. <laughs> the pad was black soot. Patty. No, it was um, that wasn't even a ranger pad. It was this versifying and nocturne. That's what that was. That's all that was. There we go. Okay, now this was next. How far over do I want to come with this? Do I want to come over further and intersect that and let this go in this way? Paint booger, I mean glue boogers on my fingers. I'm making it a little tricky. I'm telling you, I'm going to get a baby wipe. Hey, Peg. Oh, do I want to, um, that's better, I think. <laughs> do I want to put... this under here break up that circle maybe does that add any value hang on I don't think it really does. Does it? If I do that with just a little bit of that black and white peeking out over here, and that'll drop there. And then this I want to intersect Darn it. Let's 
something like that. I think the duplicate piece takes away from the other one. Yeah, I'm not seeing it add a, a whole lot of a whole lot of something. I feel like something maybe should come over this black circle instead of just all black. Is anybody else feeling that? <laughs> um Oh, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I wonder what box that piece of paper's in. And that quick, I f oh no, I know what I'm looking for. I was gonna say that quick, I forgot what the hell I was looking for. But I, I didn't, I'm back. No, it's in the other one. It's in the other one. I think. I think it's on the bottom. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's that one collage I did, and I was printing it without, without my toner. It's almost the wrong purple. Hang on. See these ones that all came out kind of funky. I'm looking for a piece of the corrugate that colors off. That's too blue. think so. I thought for sure This is getting out of that. Okay. All right. This might not work, but I'm going to play with it for a second. Give her a little trial run. Um, so that's too big. No, 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 no. Really? Come on. How can that jam a piece of bond paper? I have the worst luck with punches. Don't fail me now. I use you all the time. Really? Ah. Seriously. Anybody got any tip on unjamming your favorite punch? I can't believe that it jammed up on a freaking piece of bond paper. Come on. Okay, 
waiting for ideas on that one. I just wondered if this would, a little piece of this under there. I stuck that underneath of there to trim a little bit more off of that. I don't know. I like the shiny piece underneath of there, but the shape of it was off. Now, you know, I'm not cutting this right. Trying to get a little bit of that color in there. Oh, I don't think so. Try stepping on it. Eileen, hammer to the middle. Huh. I just might have a hammer. Look at my little pretty hammer I have right here. It matches my collage. I'm just going to hot glue that bad boy in there. Hey, it worked. Sandra, you're a genius. See, a hammer is always a good thing to have around. All right, let's get that out of there. I don't think that's going to work either. Oh, maybe that little piece will. Maybe I just do a smaller one. And let's not be stupid two times in a row. Let's put this little bit on a smaller punch with a backup piece of paper under it. Oh, nothing's working like was in my little head. Um, okay, we might have to... Oh, wait a minute. I don't know. Hang on. I don't think I can get my book closed, Brooke. <laughs> Closing pages, yeah. No kidding. Or do I need a little something, a little shiny down there? Like just the circle? That's too small. Oh, mercy. Are we going back into the shiny bits folder? Oh, maybe some of the shiny text framed with that black. Ooh. I wonder if this will punch. <laughs> I'll go through more punches this way. I need one in between these two sizes. I meant to measure this. How big is that? That's two inch. How big is this one? Trim some of that off. Three and a half. See what happens. What's the worst that can happen, people? There's just a little mishmash of text. There. Now that's going to go kind of sheer that all we would see is the gold. Well, let's do this. Let's see what this looks like. And was this, this is on a carrier sheet. Pretty sure. Well, 
It's going to be difficult. Nothing's going to come easy this time. Nothing's easy. If it was easy, anybody would do it. <clears throat> wow. I know this is on a carrier sheet. There we go. Oh, I almost had it. Ah, there. Sweet Moses. Less of a chance to impale myself. Whew, lordy. So if I put that down there, and that all goes translucent except for the text. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. Give me a fresh piece of deli. Um. I'm just going to try to center that down there. And I think I'm going to use the starch blue to see if I can get that to go transparent. Hey, Liz. Another Margaret. Hello. Okay. Where do I put? There we go. We're in the glue department. I don't remember what kind of paper this is on now. Might be rice. Down you go. I hope you're somewhere near centered. I want to put a little bit on top of that. See if it'll go any more clear. This is going to be covered. This is probably one of the rice papers that that didn't really go that clear on. That's okay. That's okay. You're down there now, you little rascal. Now, let's see. Do I want to put it... Yeah, I think I like this on the outside it up as high as that'll go. Maybe like so. Okay. So I probably should have used the same glue for this. Hello. Patty, is the glue the starch glue? Yeah. How about over the bottom of the script and the teal piece? How about over the bottom of the script and the teal piece. Um, I'm not sure what you what you mean. <laughs> There's a lot of teal pieces and a lot of well, not a lot of script. I'm assuming you mean down here. I've already auditioned where I want these these two pieces to go. Um, is that what you're? Sorry, M and M, I lost, you lost me, which is not that hard to do. Not that you don't deserve credit for losing me, but just saying. All right, let's get this baby glued up here. Why do you always have to curl? Why? Is it okay? Same question. Sorry. Yeah, this is the Yamato starch glue that's made for a rice paper, I believe. All right, let's see. How tricky are you going to be? 
I want that all the way up there. And I want to get some of these black and white edges showing. Something like that. Hit this every once in a while to try to get that smushed down so the black stripes show through there. See, I should have taken this piece over this text and interrupted that strip, but that's okay. <gasps> Why am I getting that? What's getting dirty there? You dirty girl. I don't know what happened there. All right. And then you maybe something like that. Oh, well, let's just do it. Let's just get her done. There was something I thought about doing on my jelly plate, and you think I can think of what that was now? I thought, next time I get down there, I'm going to have to try this. Oh, it's gone. Gone, gone, gone. Okay, now let me stand back. Oh, you're welcome, Margaret. Yeah, this is it. On Amazon.com. You might have starch glue. All right, now let me take a look at this from my angle and see. See where I am. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I need something. I don't know what that would be. Is it jumping out at anybody? What it needs? Oh, I was talking about putting that piece of foil down here to hide all those edges because I didn't put that over far enough to show the intersection. But how hard would it be to get one of those down that edge? Lord of mercy. That would be really, really tricky. The scooter needs another wheel, Patty, or it will fall over. What the hell are you talking about? Are you hitting the gin again, Eileen? I know it's five o'clock somewhere. <clears throat> hey, Janine. The scooter needs another wheel or it will fall over. I know that means something to somebody. <laughs> I'm not getting it. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> as wobbly and curly as these things get to do a long skinny strip like this, I think is quite the pipe dream. But you see, I'm still cutting. So you know what that means, don't you? 
we're going to give her a go. trying <laughs> i know how it's gonna end <laughs> she thinks your letter h looks like a scooter my letter h looks like a scooter mm. well she always has been real creative <laughs> oh my goodness all right here we go well let's just see before i go to that trouble does that do anything for me? You guys can't really see it until it hits the light. Actually, I think that helps. Darn it. I was hoping it didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, look at that. It came right off of there. Maybe this was on Delhi or something that was a little sturdier. Oh, it's almost falling off. Well, there it stuck more. There it goes. The whole hunk fell off. Oh, so it didn't curl that badly. Hang on. We may be in business. In business. Now, do I want to just run a little bit of that art glue or just glue it with the glue stick? I'm thinking a glue stick might just do the job better and quicker. Oop. All right. Let me turn this. Do I want it this way? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to have to maybe go off camera here. Oh, crap. I don't want to do that. Well... That was a whole lot easier than I thought. Needs less stripes. I always tend to do the opposite of what Dot says for some reason. <laughs> I like the stripes. That's why I put them on there. But what I'm feeling like up here, there needs to be, I need to fix this. Whatever the hell got on there looks crappy. Um, where's that other little, this little bit? Well, not a whole lot of shiny sh showing down here. Trying to cover up that little stuff up there and see what it looks like. That just kind of looks out of place there. And I don't want to do another one up and down. Maybe I should take a little piece of this and just tear a hunk 
and let that drop down through here somehow. Let's tear a hunk and see. Get off of there. This one's almost just falling off of there until I want it to. <laughs> there it is. I knew there was a loose bit in there. I'm looking in the reflection. Now, maybe a little skinnier strip of that. I don't hate that there. If I did that right up through the belly of the beast. Donuts. Now I want a maple frosted from Dunkin' Donuts. Whack it with the hammer. <sighs> I'm going to whack something with a hammer. Eileen first, most likely. Um, i got to tilt this so I can see this when it hits me. I don't know. Maybe this is one I need to walk away from and come back at another time and look at it. Or maybe, hang on. My eyes just go round and round and can't settle on anything. You might want to get that looked at, Tam. <laughs> I don't want to cover all that up. Oops, I'm off the screen. Ha, 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 ha. 
I'm stumped. I blame this on Eileen and Dot. <laughs> I think you need a circle to be a focal point. Maybe the other, I think I had another big black circle out here that maybe I could do something with. Or is it back in the little bits box? That would really go wackadoodle on those stripes. <laughs> I thought I had. Nope. I don't know. I'm just throwing circles out there now. One must audition. Or I must audition. I can tell you that. I thought I had some solid black circles in here. Or not. Or not. Hang on. Let me get rid of some of this other stuff. A little bit of chaos out here. Maybe a circle of that. Oh, or that. That's a little black one. We don't need that little one right now. I don't think I need, I don't know. Let's see what we need. Let's see. Okay. That's too busy. Now, where would one put the focal point circle? Seems like it would have to be up here to me. That's too much like the other. Why aren't my hands gripping? I don't want to cover that purple all the way. Oh, maybe we do the purple. Hang on. I got another piece of that somewhere. I have to. Oh, is that too long? Hang on, I'm over at the big cabinet. Rankling through 15 drawers to try to remember where the hell I put it. Those are all the tentacles. Here's that piece of paper. That's what it looks like. Um, let me. The hell am I? There they are, right there. Let me cut this bit off. See if that'll go anywhere to my liking, or should I say, to Eileen's liking. The 
big circle donut, big purpley blue one, even bigger. Ah, bye, Robin. Go recharge. <laughs> I'll look through all of them. <laughs> it's always the last one that I look for. That's the right one. So if if I were to use this I only have that one biggest punch. However, Oh, dear Lord. Must we. Must we, must we. I have no idea how this damn thing works. I got this. Somebody recommended I get this. Uh, circle cutter. this thing <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay let's see if my memory serves well enough to find my cutting mats are you in here the self oh, I'll just use the last one I mean how bad can that be right so, how the hell does this work? So this says four inches. But if I took this all the way around there, that's uh, like an eight inch number, right? Anybody got any ideas how this some bitch works? So if I just do it, it must be another guide of where that, so well, maybe you look through the center of that. Huh. See, Devin, there's a good viewer. <laughs> well, I do not know. So how is this going to work? Do we just like shove it in there and go around a circle and hope for the best? Is it even big enough? to go everywhere that it is. So it seems like I push that down and turn this. Oh my. Oh, why aren't you turning now? <laughs> Why'd you stop turning? Oh my goodness. Let me scoot this around. Oh, crap. It's tearing. Ah! You some bitch. Well, that almost sort of kind of didn't work. So there's no shot in the hell's half acre I can line this up. Or is there? Or is there? Wait a minute. Let me try this. Use the glasses. I need to see close, close, close up. Now. Oh, this is not going to work. We're just going to deal with that and see what happens. Oh, it did. More or less. I mean, it's got a boo-boo in it, but I could, I could try to hide that. <laughs> oh, lordy! Really should be easier. Okay. Where were we? Oh, look at all these caps. Do you look at drawers? Try red. Oh, Lord. Here we go. 
oh, Eileen could never figure it out, but I got a torn circle out of it. <laughs> circle templates I sent you. Oh, now you tell me. What is the foil called? I, are you talking about this paper, Kathy? I got a lot of foils down here. I'm not sure which one you mean. Now, where would one put this as a focal point? I'm not sure this is the way to go. I'm going to lose a whole bunch of something wherever I put it. Do I break that up? Kathy, if you can tell me which foil you're talking about, I could probably tell you. But this is a different foil, and this is a different foil. This is a different foil. This is foiled paper that you get at looseends.com. I'm not sure which foil you're talking about. Maybe ink the edges black and up to the left to cover all this stuff. I couldn't do it. I would hate to lose this stuff here. I really like this strip and I like this. I gotta look at the That doesn't look food. Are you hungry, Eileen? <laughs> oh, mercy. Do I lose some of that stuff there? That doesn't look food. I like to look food better. <laughs> well, hell's bells, let's see. That and that more over like that. And those get cut off there. Oop. I launched it. This is taking way too long. <laughs> I'm still out of the damn picture. So, um, Yeah. I would just put a butt and a hanging leg on it and call it done. Eileen, some days. I'm not sure what the hell you're even talking about. <laughs> I put a little edge of that there or down here. I kind of like the bottom of it. I like all of it, actually. I just feel like there's a little something missing here. Maybe I'll put that coppery part out this way. I'm trying to cover up the bit that's got a little boo-boo there.
Nope. This one kind of goes, and this is already in there. I like the purple thing going. Do I want to lose that scripting? I don't really, but I might have to. Maybe this needs to be smaller. Oh, hell, I can't do that. Um, or do we try to cut a circle out of this stuff to lay over that? Oh, lordy, lordy, here we go. Uh, put away the glass plate. Oh, door. Put away my cutter. <laughs> oh yeah, this is so thin. I'm not sure this is gonna want to cooperate with me. But if I could get some of the shiny foil in here, all right. Let's see. So this needs to be. Oh my. Must have had my damn Wheaties when I tighten that one up. Three. How big is this? Five. So let's make this one three. And I think that's how we do it, like so. And then, if I could get as much of that in there. Or do I want as much of that? Maybe I'll go right there. Okay, I think this is the holder, this little plunger you push down on. Eileen, I'm teaching you. What the hell did she say now? Oh, she's still with her hanging leg. Oh, mercy. Let's just see if I can make this happen. How do you turn this? Turn it with one hand and spin it with the other. I think it's two. I don't know what's cutting. Ah, there it caught. Darn it. It seems to catch. Well, let's do this. Let it not outsmart us. Let's try this. Can we fold it and what I think would be half? Oh, mercy. I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to just, what the hell? We're in this deep. This is going to be wonkified, let me tell you, because I can't cut worth a hoot nanny. And I really don't even know how much a hoot nanny is worth, to tell you the truth. Probably more than I have. And it's a butt. <laughs> Got that little dipsy doodle there. Apparently, that was not half. Ay, 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 ay. This ain't never going to happen. And this has to be more like this, I think. Again, what not to do, people. Oh, now I get what I'm doing wrong. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> what I'm doing wrong is streaming today. I need to hydrate. Maybe I'm dehydrated. 
I'm not thinking semicircle. I was trying to continue that line rather than thinking of a half circle. <laughs> so that should start there. Now it's going to be tiny. Oops, that's still a, that's still a butt shape. There we go. All these little bits no longer available for usage. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time with this and see if I can get her to go all the way around there. And if not, yeah, well, you know what I would say if I could say it. That's not even going to be big enough. Oh, what the hell. Let's just do it. Nope. See, it's not even, it's too. Ah! That's so frustrating. Pay attention, Eileen. I'm trying to teach you. <laughs> Push this down and rotate this bit. No, okay. Forget it. <laughs> Moving on. I will just punch something with my three and a half inch punch and be done with it since that's five. So what do we want to lay on top of there? This came out of here. That is that size. Right there when you cut your own bangs. <laughs> I need, let's try this. I was having such a good day. Son of a bitch. Write me down for a couple, Gala. There we go. Jeez Louise. Now let's do this with the smaller one, which is probably too small. See, that's the problem. I need one in between. Yes, I do. Where do I like the coloration on this? I think I like it over here. All right. One day we're going to just get on here and cut circles with these damn things until they work. <laughs> Do or die. When I come down by myself and do a collage, I do it in about 20 minutes. <laughs> With Eileen's help, it takes me a wee bit longer. <laughs> so somebody said, Tam said something about lower left. That looks too goofy down here to me. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. So if I did something like this, maybe. Where would I put you? A mess. Yeah, welcome to a mess. Um, I 
I don't know. What letter does this turn it into, Eileen? <laughs> or do we want to run a piece of this across it? I'm going to put that where it's going to get covered. Ish. I mean, that's not straight, but, you know, we get it there. We get it there a little closer than that. And maybe a piece of this over there. Stop. What letter of the alphabet are we on now, Eileen? I might just glue that some bitch right down there. Just make it stop. Or... That makes the bottom look too plain, though, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not doing more. I can promise you that, my friends. Maybe I just put this up here. What the hell? Really? I'm thinking I might just do that just to wrap it up. What time is it? Almost five. Dave and I are going to try to run over to a local produce stand that closes at six. Bottom left. I don't think so, Tam. It's too, that makes this really heavy with this and this. And this looks like, like it's got nothing going on up there. I think that's too crowded down here. To my eye, anyway. My eye. More centered is more better. Good Lord. Then I lose all this pretty stuff. That's not bad because it gives me, I still have this. It gives me back some of my script. I still have this line. So the piece of this purple I put under there was like for nothing. All right. Quite frankly, I'm tired of looking at it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's either going to go in this vicinity or here. Oh, see, I'm zoomed in too much. Let me zoom out a little bit. Because it's too far away from me. That's what's wrong. It's too far away from me trying to accommodate you guys. Oh, once I finish today, I'm never looking at this again. <laughs> Eileen, have a little have a little hooch for me too, would you? So it's either going to go there. I think it's too close to this one. I think it's got to be up in here. Well, you know how the what they say. Screw it. I'm gluing this some bitch. We shall end the misery. <laughs> Is Gail still here? She's probably really racking them up today on the list. See, in my head, this came out much nicer. <laughs> Oh, too late. I already grew, glued this one. <laughs> Decision made. Let's see, I think I'm going to put it. I can't see the whole damn thing. Let 
you know what? You're going to go right there, like it or not. Because this I can cover up with the same, same material. Oh, that almost lines up there. Not here. Oh, too bad. There it is. There we go. Let's get it moving. That would have been a good idea to glue them all together, though, and then place it. I'll remember that for next time. Maybe. Hopefully. All right. Now i got to get... I may have to stand very ceremonial to get this anywhere near the center. Good enough. Watch me mess this up now. Been a lot of swearing in this one. That's when you can tell we're having fun. Sweet Moses. Ah. Well, I liked it at one point. <laughs> Patty will never use a full sheet of black and white stripes again. Oh, yes, I will, Eileen. I'll use it every day until I figure it out. Yeah, what really hosed me up for the whole thing was this piece and this piece. I wanted it more over so you could see. I like to see that overlap there, not just this coming out of here. I like to see this both ends of that and that would have left me more black and white on that side oh well we live through it what are you gonna do i mean i don't hate it but it's not my fave i can tell you that much it seems like i don't know do i want to do a little something down here still it feels a little it feels a little unloved down here Do I want to run a, just a little teeny tiny bit of that border down there? I mean, just a wee little bit. Let's see. pretty sticky. Thank you, Margaret. Somebody needs to be responsible. Just that little piece down there. I think I kind of like that. Of course, I could have made it a little bit thicker than that, but that's okay. That's okay. Do I like this lighter end over here? Yeah, I like this lighter bit over here. Okay. Okay. Nearing the home stretch. Okay, I want this piece.
over there. Get off of there. Holy moly. Ah, actually, I like that with some kind of, some of that blue down here. That was a little too, just nothing down there with color. All right, we're calling her quits. That's where we ended up. A lot of shiny stuff. That'll distract from the parts that aren't right. <laughs> There we go, kids. Color me done. Sweet Moses. Get some of my little bits up out of here. This makes quite the mess, I gotta tell you. And this gem, everybody should have one of these. I think if we all get one, someone will figure it out. I think it's, I think the paper that I used that the last time, that's just too thin. Too thin. Oh, maybe I should do. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I was thinking one, I looked up and I saw these um, art foamies here. And I thought, oh, one little row of some kind of pictographs might be good to intersect in there. I don't think I should dare try it. I think we should back away. And whatever it is, it is. All right, kids. Hi, yeah, yeah. I'm exhausted. We're going to go to the produce store. Eat some cantaloupe and tomatoes and corn and might get some jalapenos to make some poppers on the grill. Oh, that sounds good now that I said that out loud. <laughs> All right, kids. Thank you. Well, most of you. <laughs> Even you, Eileen. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I appreciate it, guys. And look, I'm almost done this book. Actually, that's one more page left. Except for all these poopers that I didn't do. I should go in and finish that so I can actually say I have a finished journal. That one's a dud. And then all these, that one's okay. These are just backgrounds that I glued in there to do something on. I wonder if this will go with any of them. Oh, I can make that work in here. Maybe I'll leave one there for a bookmark. And these, I got to do something with these. They're not quite finished. Anywho, there we are. Calling it a day. Thanks, guys, for popping in. In and out. And uh, thanks to my mods. Even you, Eileen. <laughs> oh my gosh I actually I might stream tomorrow too um, thanks Sam you too uh, yeah we'll see how the day goes we should, oh hey Levy I don't think I said hi to you I see you in there and Mika Micah Micah Mika I always ask that I never see the answer All right, I will catch you dudes later, dudes and dudettes. And I appreciate it. Toodaloo.